quick one for you today boys we got a Jorginho and a Havertz Halloween card but there is something special about them Jorginho is a centre forward with 99 finishing and Havertz is a left back and he's actually quite good both of these guys are really good uh, I'm really a big fan of Jorginho I think he played similar to Romario so I'm going to give it a build what skills I put on and show you some of the clips of the goals so here is the build I would go for uh, I would definitely just go for that 89 or 99 finishing uh, we also wanted the ball control uh, to 85 for the plus 3 uh, we just got the speed to 78 for the plus two and then the balance is really high so that's the most important thing for this guy if he didn't have good balance he'd be a pretty useless card because he has good balance honestly i'm not trying to you know blow him out of proportion i'm not going to click the thumbnail or the title but uh this guy did remind me of romario now not, he's not as good as romario but definitely a similar player because of the balance being high uh, if we look at romario down here uh, romario is a similar player like it's a striker like that with really high finish and really high balance it's a very rare thing so that is the build I would go for for Jorginho. If we look at some of the clips, I'll show you what type of goals he scored. And then I'll tell you what skills I would recommend putting on him too. So for the skills for Jorginho, I'd recommend... Now there's just two paths you can go down. It all depends on if you are someone who does double touches or not. Uh, you can either go for double touch and flip flap. Um, and then true pass, heel trick, fight and spirit. And then if you don't go for the double touch and flip flap... You can instead go for super sub and cut behind and turn. Uh, I think it's it's all depends on you. He has high weak foot and 99 finishing. So his left foot will be pretty much as strong as his right foot. Or it'll be stronger. His weak foot will be very strong. But like look at the way the, the kind of ball dips under the keeper there. Uh, I don't know if I'll have time to go through all the clips. I don't want to hang on to his too long. But he was uh, he was very, very effective. But he was just very good at dribbling. Like this, this happened all the time where you just kept like... When he was trying to dribble by, by someone, just getting by them at the last second, it was like he was glitching through. So it might be first week boost. I don't want to go ahead and say maybe a month from now he's going to be good because I do feel like Konami boosts new cards for the first week. So it might be that, but based on what I was playing with him, uh, he did play really well. And then this is the build for Havertz. Uh, so here we went dribbling. Um, high, just get that 85 dribbling so he can drive up the pitch. He isn't the fastest, but he's very physical. He's very tall. Uh, I've got a few different versions of Havertz now. And one thing I noticed, the first thing I, I, I use of, I, I made a comment while I was streaming, like, this guy looks taller than usual. I don't think he is, but it, it did look interesting anyway. Uh, but he's definitely a physical type of player. And he reminds me of Costa Curta in the sense that I think he is like Costa Curta, but an uh, attacking kind of version. Because you can see here, he's intercepting the ball well because he is big and he's got that kind of ability. So for the skills I would put on Havertz, I would go for one touch pass, low lofted pass, fighting spirit. Um, and then you can go for cut behind and turn and Marseille turn or if you don't want to go for both of them you can try go for outside curler because he doesn't have the highest kicking power so if he does get into the box to shoot he has got quite good curl and decent finishing like that's a really good curl for a striker if you use Romario go back to him for a sec uh, and you think his outside curlers are good well look at him he only has 78 curl now finishing is obviously important and it's going to play a part too but it is something to consider for Havertz he might be able to hit some outside curlers if he does end up getting up the pitch but they did a very good job i think with these cards i think these are interesting they're fun i seen them uh before work thought they were a gimmick but after using them i think they're uh, quite effective and these are all in division one these games so uh that's uh, 10 goals in eight games he had more than that i think the last like three games he's coming off the bench and i don't have the super sub on him yet but uh that's the video uh just one last thing we give him the aggression just because he can press from the front and he'll win more tackles that way